This is what I tell motivation. Motivation for me is a transfer of belief, conviction, idea of football. What kind of football do you really want to play? Now I'm not talking about a, bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, maybe a little bit of that, a little bit of pressing. I mean, come on, what is a little bit of pressing? A little bit of pressing is like a little bit of pregnant. <laughs> I mean, either you are pregnant or not. Either you want to play pressing or not. But not, please, not a little bit of pressing. Huh? But you know what I mean? The idea needs to be in your brains yourself first. In order to be able to educate, to teach, to develop your own team, you need to make sure what kind of football do I want to play? Well, as I said, it's about controlling the game. And in fact, we have five different situations in football in the meantime that in the end decide football games. What happens if we have the ball ourselves? How do we play against defensive teams, against teams that maybe attack high or try to press us? So you need to have, as a coach, a, a very clear idea of how do we want to play if we have the ball ourselves. What do we want to do if the other team has got the ball? What kind of information, match plan, game plan do I give my players when the other team has got the ball? Our idea is clear, it's very, very similar to my, I would almost say, coaching friend uh, Jürgen Klopp. Our football, our Red Bull football is heavy metal, rock and roll, and it's not slow waltz, you know, if I mean. I, we hate square passes, back passes. Just having the ball ourselves as la pour la doesn't make sense. Well, as we said, I mean, in the very moment you win the ball, and again, it depends how you want to play yourself. That it's not only about the, the, the location where we win the ball, it's also about the intensity. The more aggressive, the more intense we win that ball in that very moment, the more we take this, this uh, intensity and this tempo into the counter-attack. So that means the more intense we win the ball, the bigger the chance that we create from this. And for example, in, in the last year when we were coaching Leipzig two and a half years ago, out of 75 goals we scored, more than 60% we scored after winning the ball 10 seconds before. We spoke about Liverpool, about Jürgen Klopp, we spoke about Leipzig, the way that we played with Leipzig or with Salzburg now. It's about putting the other team under pressure, no matter if it's high up, the higher up the better, but wherever the ball is, we try to win the ball back. And we also found out that it's not only about where we win the ball back, obviously the higher up we win the ball back, the closer the distance to the other team's goal, keeper and goal, and the higher up we win the ball, the less players the other team have at that very moment behind the ball to prevent us from creating a, a, a chance or to score. And the same is true with, um, with, uh, um, with uh, winning the ball back, uh, or when, when we lose the ball and winning the ball back, the same is true. I mean, if we know that the biggest chance is to win the ball within eight seconds, it makes sense to not waste time. So all the players around the ball have to try and win the ball back. And then also highly important, we saw that in our first pre first presentation today, it's rest defense, because if you play aggressive, high pressing, you need to make sure that the defenders, no matter if you play with two or three central defenders, that they make sure that the the only one or two players that the other team has got up front, that they are being marked. They have to be closely marked because those two players or this one player is the only player that might be able to, if they, we allow them to control the ball, that we get the counter attack ourselves. And this is about rest defense. This is also nothing less than a, a train the brain issue because it's very easy to, to, to for a central defender. They don't necessarily need to be fast in order to do that, to mark when the ball is still at the other team's 16-yard box to mark this one or two players very closely. Even mark through, mark ahead of them and the other one like a sandwich mark behind him. And this is what we call rest defense and this is also for me a very important thing that you also train this. Not only tell the players that they should do it, but also train it in the training sessions.
And this shows you what is possible and what can happen if a coach with a with a mindset and with a clear idea of how his team should play, what can happen. What is the job of a football head coach or manager? To have a clear idea of how my team should play. This can be more the Pep Guardiola style or the Diego Simeone style or the Hansi Flick style or the Jürgen Nagelsmann style or the Jürgen Klopp style. Those are variations, different areas where Pep Guardiola is more the kind of coach who likes technical players, whereas Jürgen Klopp more likes the heavy metal band players, you know. But what they all have in common is that they exactly know how this kind of football they want to play, what it looks like. They have in their brains the video of the perfect game. They have it in their minds and on their minds. And the job of a football manager is to transform this idea of football into the heads, hearts, brains, veins of your players. This is what I tell motivation. Motivation for me is a transfer of belief, conviction, idea of football.